Hi there, let's take a look at uh, an AS Micro Multiple Choice question. Uh, this is on the market for renewable energy. Here's the question. The diagram below shows the demand and supply curves for an energy company which sells electricity produced using renewable sources. Which one of the following would shift the market equilibrium from X to Y? The equilibrium involves an outward shift of supply from S1 to S2, moving down the demand curve. So as the price falls from P1 to P2, there is an expansion of quantity demanded. Of course, the, the implicit behind this question is how best can we encourage an increase in consumption of renewable energy? So which one of the following will shift the market equilibrium from X to Y? Let's go through the answers. All consumers buying electricity will know that will just shift the demand curve to the right. So that will cause an outward shift of demand, not of supply. Uh, let's look at C next. An environmental tax levied on the company. Well, a tax causes an inward shift of supply. Uh, that would be a, a rise in costs. So that's the opposite of the right answer. An increase in wages of workers in the electricity sector. Again, that's an increase in cost. And if the unit cost increases, the supply curve shifts to the left. By now, you'll be probably getting the idea that the correct answer is B, government subsidy paid to the company. That is indeed the correct answer. If you subsidise the producer, supply costs go down and that causes an outward shift of supply. Here's a moment now to quickly revise the idea of a subsidy. So a government subsidy per unit of output uh, is paid to producers causes an outward shift of market supply, leading to a lower equilibrium price and an increase in the equilibrium quantity traded. Here's our diagram showing the subsidy. The subsidy is the vertical distance between the two supply curves, which in the multiple choice question would have been S1 and S2. The key thing in the exam, if you get asked to explain this, is to explain the transmission mechanism of a subsidy. So in other words, the subsidy lowers the cost of production and therefore allows the firm to reduce their price from P1 to P2. Of course, the firm would then sell at P2, but get the subsidy payment plus P2, which, of course, makes it more financially viable for the company. There we go. There's a multiple choice question on renewable energy and government subsidies.